Hey, Aaron here, and I'm gonna teach you how to stream to TikTok directly from OBS Studio. It's actually pretty easy, but there are some pitfalls, so make sure you watch the whole video. Otherwise, you may run into some issues. So consider subscribing because I've got a few videos coming up that you're definitely not gonna wanna miss. Like, I'm gonna show you gear that I use that is way cheaper than the top tier brands and as good, if not better, actually. How to stream to other platforms as well as TikTok, like Facebook or Instagram. And I'm gonna demonstrate some software to make your webcam, regardless of what model it is, look even better than it already does. All right, so the first part here is getting that vertical format that you're gonna want for TikTok. The data actually shows that most people, even if they're watching a stream that's produced in OBS, they still don't wanna rotate their phones to that horizontal orientation. So you're gonna to wanna to use a vertical format. And that has some challenges, but let me show you first how to set that up in OBS. So you're gonna to go to OBS settings by just going file, settings, and then you're gonna to wanna to go to the video tab and you're gonna change this base canvas resolution. You can actually click into this and type. A lot of people don't know that. So it's set to 1920 by 1080. And if you wanna rotate that 90 degrees, then you would put 1080 first and 1920 second. So we're gonna type 1080X 1920. And you wanna match the output scaled resolution to that as well, so 1080 and it should autofill for 1920 and then apply and okay. And now you'll see you have a vertical format here that you can work from. Now I'm in studio mode, but you can switch to just a single preview by just clicking studio mode here on the bottom right. Now, obviously you're gonna wanna set up a scene. So maybe I'll just throw a background image and my webcam in here real quick. Go to sources and add an image and then I'll just look for a background. And you can either scale this by just making it bigger or you could rotate it by right clicking it and going transform, rotate 90 degrees, and there you go. Now I'll add my webcam by just going add video capture device and I'll find my webcam in here. Click OK and we'll scale it somewhere into my scene. Now one thing you need to be mindful of is that the chat on the mobile experience is going to cover some of your content. So you wanna make sure you're aware of how high up from the bottom that's likely to be and then make adjustments. So here I found an example of somebody that did exactly that. They kept their content to where the chat is not gonna actually cover anything that they're doing. So when you're laying things out in here, you wanna kind of keep that in mind. If I put this way down here, then the chat's gonna cover my face. So I probably wanna be at least halfway up, if not higher. Now, of course, if you want your webcam really big, then you can stretch it to take up the entire frame if you want. But then you're gonna have the challenge of like staying still and making sure that your content stays centered in the frame. I've got my microphone all hooked up in here and ready to go. Of course, if you wanna check to make sure that you've got a microphone connected, you would go settings, audio, and then in the mic auxiliary audio, make sure that you select a microphone. Apply and okay. And then your microphone will be in your mixer. Now we need to connect this to TikTok and since you're on PC, you're gonna to go to tiktok.com uh, in a browser. So now we're on tiktok.com and we're gonna look on the left-hand side here for this go live button. Now, if you don't have the button, unfortunately that's because you probably don't have uh, at least a thousand followers. Currently, as of the making of this video, you do need that, but that probably will change in the future. So it's still good that you know how to start streaming on TikTok. So click go live and now you'll enter in some video settings. You wanna give it a title and choose a topic. You can also add a cover image here by just clicking upload. Now you can decide if the stream goes down for whatever reason, let's say you hit stop streaming intentionally because you're done streaming or what if the power goes out or the internet dies? Do you want the stream to stop and then you'll have to restart it on TikTok and set up a new one? Or do you want it to try to keep going? If that's the case and you're not able to get back online, then you're gonna have to go to tiktok.com and cancel the stream that's going manually. Now, when you click save, it will go live to your channel. There won't be any content yet because you haven't hit start streaming in OBS or added the stream key that you're gonna need. But once you click save, you're gonna get that information and uh, be able to hit start streaming right away. So now that you've hit that, you're gonna see a server URL and a stream key. You wanna copy those and paste them into OBS. So we'll start with the server URL. Now we'll go into OBS and go to settings, stream. We're gonna change the service to custom and paste that server in there. Now we'll go back to TikTok and get the stream key 
and paste that in there. Hit apply and okay. Hit start streaming. Now you can go back to your TikTok page and check and see that you are now live. You get a nice little link to share the actual live video directly. And you also have your live chat here, your audience information and all that kind of stuff. Now here's a very important thing that you need to know uh, if you have trouble the first time that you start streaming. If you refresh this page for any reason, your stream key will change. And then if you try to go live to that same stream key again, it won't work. This is actually a safety feature, but sometimes it can cause confusion because you're trying to go live and it's not working. So just keep in mind that you've got this stream key here. And if you were to click refresh, it's gonna change or it's gonna make you start over. Now this is a relatively new feature on TikTok, so it may change. Some things may get improved. Your stream key may end up becoming a permanent key or something like that. Keep an eye out for those upcoming videos that I mentioned and uh, there you go. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Talk to you later.